Hey everybody, Brian at VoiceOpia here. Hope you're doing well. This is just a quick uh, visual guide on setting up your soft phone with your VoiceOpia service. Uh, we use the GroundWire app. It is a third-party app that we really like. It does have a one-time cost in the App Store and you can get it on Apple or Android. We've also played with this on a couple of tablets. Uh, it's a great app and it works with our service perfectly. So if you have got this set up for your service or you've requested it, then we've sent you an instruction guide that looks just like this, except it will have tailored information to your extension or to your uh, system. And the only difference is on your document, you're going to see something in the password uh, section and in the domain, it's gonna have something here, uh, right here, .pbx.voiceopia.net with this port number. That port number is critical, you enter it. So you'll just have information there where you see blank here. Uh, everything is spelled out in this document, but uh, we just wanna show it to you visually. So I'm gonna press pause and then hop over to an Android phone and we will set this up. There will be a separate video eventually for Apple uh, iPhone setups. We'll get to that later. Again, this is for Android. They are pretty much the same. Just a couple of different, you know, swiping, button pressing based on the format of the iPhone that's a little different, but the steps are identical. We will get to that later. Let me get to a phone and we'll show you how to set this up. All right, so we've got an Android phone here and we have installed the app. So if we're opening it for the first time, we're just going to hit it. You're going to get a couple of uh, disclosure things you've got to agree to. Uh, you hit agree there. You're going to get asked for permission for your microphone and you want to say yes to that. It's gonna to ask to uh, have phone permission. You're gonna say yes to that. It's gonna ask if you wanna sync your contacts, which you don't necessarily have to do, but you may find that helpful. I'm gonna allow it. And then you get this screen asking to set up a new account. You get to pick the very first choice, a new SIP account. That's all you gotta do. And then you're presented with this screen, and this is the information that's in the document we sent you. So. I'm just going to go in and type work. The username is your extension number. For the sake of this video, my extension number is 198. I'm going to pause here for a minute and type in the password because it is pretty long. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've entered in my password and my URL uh, under the domain field there. And we're ready to go to the next step which is gonna to be to click right here on advanced settings. I'm gonna click on advanced settings and you get this screen right here. There are two things that you need to change here. Uh, the first is we're gonna scroll down to transport protocol. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna choose the third option, TLS SIPs. And then when you, when you click that, it brings you back here to the advanced settings and you should see transport protocol TLS SIPs. The other thing we need to do is enter a number rewriting rule. Uh, this is pretty easy to do. We're just gonna scroll down here to number rewriting. We're gonna click that and you're gonna get this screen here. You're gonna hit the plus button and we need to set a condition and a rule or an action. I'm gonna press conditions and I'm going to say length equals and then you get a prompt here. We're just going to put in 10. Uh, what we're doing here is we're telling it that if you dial a 10-digit number, area code of the number, we want you to put the 1 in front of it so our system will accept uh, the outgoing call. We're going to click plus for actions. We're going to prepend. That's the first option. It'll say prepend. We're just going to hit the number 1, and that's all you got to do here. You can hit a check, and then you can hit back. And now you see we now have a rule under equal, equal, 10 one with the underscore and that's all you need to do there we're going to go back there's our advanced settings i'm going to go back and we're we're now back at the add new account screen and i'm going to hit the check and now i've got my account set up so you can see under enabled accounts i called it work so that's what it's called and it's enabled i'm going to go back a step Here's my settings. I'm going to go back again. And now I'm at a dial pad. And if I did everything right, I have a green circled around the name that I named the account. 
So we are registered. We're good to go. And in fact, I'm going to dial 70, which is the parking lot. I'm going to put on speaker. And we've got music, which means we are successfully connected and establishing a call. So that is how you set this up and register. Again, if you have an iPhone, it's very, very similar. Uh, just a couple of different swiping up and down or left and right because of the way iPhone is different than Android. Let me show you a couple of other things. You do have the ability to look at a call history. You've got the ability to set up some speed dials if you want. Uh, if you allowed access to your contacts, there would be contacts here. If you do not want this app to ring, but you want to keep it active so you can place calls, you can go up here, press your green setup, and put yourself on Do Not Disturb. Uh, incoming calls will be silently rejected, would go on to your voicemail, and there won't be any audible notifications that a call came in. If you want to completely kill the app, you don't want it to consume a bit of battery, because it does use a little bit of battery, you would go to Manage Accounts, and you would just drag it underneath Disabled, and that actually deactivates the extension. Now, it will still work, you know, if somebody calls into your business and you get they get transferred to you, they'll still get your voicemail. This just prevents the Android phone from using the extension, saves you a little bit of battery life, and you definitely won't get any calls on it. If you do this, just keep in mind, you'll need to come back here and pull it up to enabled to reactivate it. You usually have some kind of little dot up here at the top that will tell you if it's registered or not. So you'll always have that indicator as well. And then you just go back and you're back to your dial pad. Uh, it's a fantastic app, really good quality. In another video, I'm gonna show you how to do some basic stuff, putting people on hold, transferring uh, calls and parking calls. And then uh, that'll take care of us for GroundWire. If you have any questions, call us 423-509-8000. Again, that's 423-509-8000. And I'm going to let you go and take that call. Take care.